everybody, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you're new today, I'm going to be styling six late summer outfits using pieces I already own in my wardrobe. If you are a follower or a subscriber, you will know that I'm currently doing No Spend August and instead of spending money on new clothes, bags, shoes, things, I probably may already have in my wardrobe. I'm going to be styling pieces I already own and figuring out outfit ideas using those pieces. So let me take you through outfit number one, the outfit I'm wearing here. I am wearing my Goelia. This is just a striped knitted waistcoat. So actually perfect for the transitional period between summer and autumn. It is slightly thicker. I am wearing my trusty linen blend trousers. These ones are from Marks and Spencers and to be honest with you, I have lived in them this summer. They are so flattering. They're really, really comfortable. I love anything with a drawstring waist. I have teamed the look with my ancient Greek sandals. These are the real kind of minimalist sandals. They look like they're gonna be really uncomfy, but they're actually not. They are surprisingly comfortable, and I just love the way that they look with a really toned down minimal outfit. I am adding in a pop of color with my Dragon Diffusion bag. This one I picked up a couple of weeks ago now, and it's a really, really beautiful bag and goes so nicely with so many more minimal neutral outfits and more colorful outfits too. It's been a real staple in my summer wardrobe and I love the fact that I can carry this through to autumn as well because of the gorgeous tone and I'll definitely be bringing it out next spring as well. You guys know I love a minimal outfit and outfit number two is very minimal and monochrome with a pop of a suede bag which you may have seen on my channel before. Let's start with this gorgeous vest top. This is also from Goelia. I have paired it with a pair of wide leg very floaty, very comfortable trousers. These ones are actually quite high-waisted as well, and they do have a stretchy waistband. These ones are from Mango. Love how wide and floaty they are. They're so, so comfortable, and I feel like these kind of pair of trousers will be perfect with a jumper as the weather gets a bit cooler with a pair of trainers. I am wearing them today with some flip-flops. These are a trusty black pair of flip-flops. Very basic, very minimal from Marks and Spencers. They were like £15 at the beginning of the summer, and I've worn them a lot and I've decided to team this whole look and finish it off with this suede bag. This is a jigsaw suede bag. I think it's the Heckfield or Hackfield tote. And suede is going to be a big trend for the autumn winter this year. So I'm really glad I got my hands on this one a couple of months ago. I feel like it ties in really nicely with the more minimal look. It adds a bit of texture, it adds a bit of excitement, warms the whole look up as well, and yeah, I'm really loving this bag. Look number three, this outfit, I feel like it's gonna be a little bit more Marmite. You're either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. If you are not a fan of oversized pieces, you're probably not gonna like this look, but to be honest with you, I feel so comfortable in this look. And I just love it. It just suits my lifestyle as a busy mum, down to the ground because it's comfy, relaxed, and still a little bit on trend. So let's start with the top. It's an oversized tee. This one is actually Topshop via ASOS. It just has this logo, but I loved the color. I love the cream versus this dark kind of burgundy color. I have then teamed it with these wide leg jeans. These jeans are from Nobody's Child. I just had to remember for a minute then. I've had these for over a year and I really, really love them. I love the fact they've got a bit of pleating down the front here. They're very wide. I love a wide leg trouser, as you can probably tell from this video. And it's just a really relaxed, comfy fit. I am gonna stay true to the relaxed nature of this fit and add this bag. This is a raffia bag, very slouchy, and this one was actually from Amazon Prime years ago, but they do have lots of different versions of this bag available today. And then just to kind of smarten it up slightly and add a little bit more of a feminine edge, I am teaming this look with these ballet flats. These are from John Lewis. I have worn these so much over the last year. They're one of the best things I've purchased. They go with so many outfits because they are this gorgeous green color. Unfortunately, I have scuffed them a little bit on the front, which is really annoying. But yeah, this is the look. I love it. It's something a little bit different, I feel like, from what you've seen from me before, but 
I feel like this is very comfy and very appropriate for me and my life right now. This next look is probably one of my favourites actually from today's video and I just love how comfy and relaxed it is and I also love the tones of this one. So this is a knitted waistcoat or vest from Mango. As you can see it's really relaxed, it's not super fitted at all and I feel like this kind of material is perfect for the transitional weather. I have teamed it with a black belt just to break up the colours between the top and also these gorgeous trousers. These trousers are also mango and they are a slightly cropped, almost a tiny bit of a collot style trouser. They are totally wide leg, they are pleated at the top as well and they are just such a lovely colour and a lovely fit as well. To keep this kind of a bit more casual, I am adding my Adidas Sambas to this look. I have actually got a couple pairs of these in different colours on my rest list because I wear them all of the time and they are just the comfiest shoe in my opinion. And then to finish off this look, I am going to add my Bottega inspired black bag. This one is actually from Anthropology. you've probably seen it a million times on my channel already and I really do get a good amount of wear out of this one. It's just the perfect shoulder bag and goes with so many different outfits as well. I really love this next look and one of the reasons why is just because the mix of tones and textures and shapes, I just love it so much. So let me take you through. This is a Uniqlo pleated top. I don't know if you can kind of see, it's like the plissé material. I'm then wearing these very smart, gorgeous trousers. These ones are also from Gabellia and they are this tailored wide leg white trouser. To break up these two colours which are quite similar, I have added in this quite chunky leather belt in this gorgeous deep brown colour which is years and years old from Zara. And then to finish the outfit I am putting on this new jacket which is this bomber style cropped jacket from Mango and it is in this really lovely browny tonal kind of colour and it's just gorgeous. I love it so, so much. It's so flattering. To go with the belt, I am gonna add my Dragon Diffusion bag. I feel like these colors are pretty much the same, which works so nicely. And then for a little bit of fun, I am finishing off the look with these mesh ballet flats. These ones are from H&M. I picked them up in a recent video. If you haven't seen that, it is a couple videos back. So I'm gonna be finishing off the look with these and yeah, this is the look. Let me know what you guys think of this one. For the final look, I think this is a kind of twist on a bit of a classic. And I have this beautiful classic style, really thin strap waistcoat. This one is from Mango and it's in this beigey kind of marl color with these dark buttons. And it has a really high back as well. And I'm teaming that with these khaki, relaxed trousers. These ones are H&M. I got them at the beginning of the summer season. I really love this color contrast. To make it a little bit more fun, I'm gonna add my red mesh pumps. These ones are also H&M. The same as the white ones I've had before, but I feel like it just adds something a little bit more exciting to this particular look. Then I am finishing off this look with this black Bottega inspired bag from Anthropology again. And this is the final look. Let me know out of the six looks that I've shared with you today, which one is your favorite? I would love to know, leave me a comment. If you are new to my channel, please feel free to hit that subscribe button for new videos from me every single week. As I've said before, this month's focus is a no spend August. So we're not doing any hauls or anything like that on this channel, we are just doing styling videos tips on how to spend less, tips on how to start and build your capsule wardrobe, things like that. So hopefully you guys are interested in those kind of videos and you're here to join along. I'm so happy to have you and thank you again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.